You know what guys, I don't know who I am, but I must be someone pretty scary. I don't know. For Facebook, not Facebook, sorry, but for YouTube and TikTok to decide that I'm not gonna go anywhere on their platforms. I don't even wanna try and grow an Instagram. I am so scared of what in the world is gonna happen next against my words that I don't even wanna start to try and grow on Instagram. Well, what future do I have where I cannot share clips of my exercise on TikTok? The most proliferating social media platform for fitness dancers, fitness instructors. If at all you are dancing, TikTok is the place for you. If I can't go there because they keep on suspending my stuff, what future do I have? Why in the world am I still in, is it 2002 where Facebook is the only social media platform? They've literally taken me back there. I don't know what to do. I keep asking God, what is this? What's going on? And why are you letting it happen? I spent all of 2022, perhaps 2021, speaking about how it must be the rapture. We're in 2023 and it's still not the rapture. So what is it? What is it? What is it, God? Because, oh, goodness, why do you not allow me to have some kind of a semblance of a normal life? Like every other Christian in this world that is doing something. Let me have some kind of sustainable living, even though my YouTube channel is struggling. There are people who try to do the gospel on YouTube. They try to do the gospel on YouTube, but they get only two or three views and they give up and they just do something else. They try other stuff because they've got nine to fives or they've got businesses that are paying their bills. I literally have got, I've got nothing, nothing. What must I do? What am I expected to do? Must I languish until I die? Why will you not give me a life? So I won't care if I get stricken on YouTube or shadow banned. So I won't care if Instagram won't let me grow or TikTok won't stop suspending my accounts. Why can't I get some kind of a semblance of a normal life? So all the challenges that are facing truth channels or truth creators will be taken in my stride because I've got a backup plan. I've got a contingency. I was ripped from underneath me, rug pulled from underneath my feet, my whole career in one day. I lost everything. And almost a decade later, people are still trying to get me to lose what little I have left remaining. Why are you letting me stay in the state of sorrow? I understand persecution comes to the body of Christ, but I need to understand why you're letting me stay in this. At least maybe if you give me an understanding, I might just take it in my stride. But right now, I just feel like you're enduring me through way more pain and persecution than is absolutely necessary. Can I not just live a normal life while being afflicted like every other Christian on their channels? Like there are Christians that are getting their channels brought down altogether. Like one day you go and you log on to your YouTube channel and you're trying to upload content and they tell you that they've deleted it. And unlike TikTok, talk youtube does not give you an opportunity to get your data back if they delete your 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 youtube account it's gone it's gone forever all the content in there is gone forever but on tiktok they, they give you an opportunity to get your data back so i mean wh like what in the world guys like i just I, I don't know what to do i don't understand why god is letting every other christian live and not me like it's it's just it's having such a field day with me i, I literally i can't understand this but i guess i'm not the first and last believer to be incarcerated imprisoned and i i don't know like yo i'm just i'm so small okay fine so i'm smart but i am so small whatever satan knows okay the devil knows what i am enough to make people on the ground to be irrational over someone so small and whatever i am in due season i shall find out even though i don't have the answers right now i don't know what the heck i am and i don't know how long this nonsense is going to last but bottom line is it hurts it hurts it has significantly reduced my workload. That helps. It has made me less strained and antsy at the edge of my chair to make sure that I've gotten every last video up on TikTok. So while it has reduced my workload, it has, however, hurt that they did that to me. It was the one channel I was looking forward, not channel, but account, that I was looking forward to continuing to service, basically, maintain, more so even than my Christian section because I noticed nobody was watching me there. But now I'm just, like, I'm scared that they're going to come for me on Facebook. I am, I'm so scared because on that day, I'm just going to be uploading on Facebook and it's going to be quiet. Literally, you're going to hear a pin drop even on Facebook. And on that day, I will have no motivation at all to carry on doing what I'm doing. I was like, I could ride out 2022 hoping the rapture would happen. But now that we are in a new year, it's like, I'm sorry, I'm done with rapture fanaticism. I'm done with doing nothing but waiting and watching for the rapture. I'm done with the amount of heartbreak that comes with waiting around for the rapture. I'm done. I am no longer going to be sitting around believing that God is going to reap the church because he hasn't done it in two years of my incredible suffering. In eight, never mind two, I need to find another strategy to survive this. But I don't even know where to start. 
I don't know where to start. If the rapture is not happening, what then is? Given that all of my 30s have been taken away. Given that I'm being led to menopause without children. Given that I am being led to age increasing without getting married. Without a man finding me attractive and feasible. To indeed convert out of me. Make out of me, sorry, an honest woman. Everything is just flying right by my nose and I'm watching it happen. Everything. What in the world am I supposed to do? Well, what, like, well, guys, I'm 39 this year. In August, I am turning 39. And I'm just like... I did not care to age because I understood I was going to inherit an incorruptible body in heaven one day. So aging for me was never the issue. What has always been the issue for me is having nothing to show for all of my years. And I am about to turn 39 in eight months, having nothing to show for it. I just studied a whole bunch at university for nothing. I gained a whole bunch of experience in corporate for nothing. And I have been preaching underground trying to reach a whole bunch of rebellious fools for nothing. To a point where people are thwarting me successfully so much that they will go on right ahead and suspend an account for no reason at all just so i don't have any opportunity or avenue to make any money at all i guess this is what it means when they say you will own nothing and be happy that statement is only true for people who are lazy if at all somebody can guarantee you bread every single day if somebody can guarantee you a house over your head every single night shelter you from the elements while you just gather dust and all you have to do is just nod your head nod your head and abide by some agenda i can see why you would like the antichrist so much but those of us who want to maintain freedom of, of mind, those of us who still want all of our cognitive capacity to be utilized in innovating, in being thought leaders and paradigm shifters, in being different thinkers, those of us who still want to be, I don't know, human, literally, just basically very human. No, you, you, you don't get to be happy when you own nothing because you want to get the ten amount of your hard labor rewarded you in house, in how, what kind of food you eat, in what kind of clothes you wear, in where you take your children. You are expecting to have more than just a basic two-bedroomed house. You want a whole big fat chunky mansion because you worked for it? What are you doing? That doesn't work anymore. No longer do we reward work. We reward obedience. Oh my goodness, are they not trying to be like God? Except God is holy and perfect. And so when he rewards obedience, it is acceptable to human beings on the ground that honor him. But when the globally leads to a mega maniacal reward obedience, it means you just shut up, hunker down, and will give you a two bedroom apartment, allow you to get your two and a half kids, allow you to have some kind of a normal life in society and daily bread. The bread of which is without meat. And you are going to drive an electric car so that we can stop it if you dare decide to change your mind that you don't want to be a mindless drone. That is the world that we're living in. And I, unfortunately, can't even survive the last days of it because I am trapped in prison and I don't know what's happening. TikTok has banned me. And so I've banned myself from it, even on my Christian segment of it, because what, what am I even forcing myself to do there? But who's coming for me next? I don't know. This is the world you have made for yourselves, world. Pinky and the brain are taking you over and you're letting them. Let me do one last part. 